Booyah, people of the internet. My name is Cassandra. Welcome to Noob Reviews, the show where I, a noob who plays no video games, reviews video games. Today is a very a special episode. I'm going to be looking at um, the one of the oldest video games to exist. Um, it is not the oldest, but it's one of the oldest. And it is called Hammurabi. First released in 1968, Hammurabi is a text-based strategy game of land and resource management. Originally developed under the name The King of Samaria or The Summer Game by Doug Diamond, the game spurred many replicas and eventually several derivations. All right, I'm going to be playing this game and then giving my opinions on it and, uh, and telling you what I think. Congratulations, you are the newest ruler of ancient Samaria, elected for a 10-year term of office. Your duties are to dispense food, direct farming, and buy and sell land as needed to support your people. Watch out for wrath infestations and the plague. Grain is the general currency, measured in bushels. The following will help you in your decisions. Okay. Each person needs at least 20 bushels of grain per year to survive. All right. Each person can farm at most 10 acres of land. It takes one bushel of grain to farm an acre of land. The market price for land fluctuates yearly. So, uh, it will cost them at least, um, it will cost them at most 10 bushels um, to farm all of their land if they have up to 10. Rule wisely and you will be showered with appreciation at the end of your term. Rule poorly and you'll be kicked out of office. Oh great, Hammurabi, you are in your one of your 10 year rule. In the previous year, zero people starved to death. Five people entered the kingdom. The population is now 100. We harvested 3,000 bushels at three bushels per acre. Right. Rats destroyed 200 bushels, leaving 2,800 bushels in storage. The city owns 1,000 acres of land. Land is currently worth 19 bushels per acre. There were zero deaths from the plague. How many of acres of land to buy? All right. How many acres of land should we buy? How much grain to feed the people? How many acres to plant with seed? So um, each person needs 20 and we have 100 people. So 100 times 20 is 2,000. So we need to feed them at least 2,000. How many acres to plant with seeds? Well, we want to plant how many okay we have a thousand acres of land it takes one bushel one bushel of grain to farm an acre of land so we only have 800 bushels left so let's go ahead and buy one acre of land and we can farm no sorry we we're, we're not going to buy anything. We're not going to buy anything yet. We're just going to farm 800 acres of land and see how that goes. So in the previous year, zero people starved to death. Three people entered the kingdom. The population is now 103. We harvested 4,800 bushels at six bushel, bushels per acre. Rats destroyed zero bushels. Great, the city owns 1,000 acres of land and there are zero deaths from the plague. So we need 20 bushels per person, which means we need to give our citizens 20, 60. And we, we own 1,000 acres of land and we have 2740, so we can buy some land. Let's buy 80 acres, 80 acres, 70 acres. Yeah, let's buy 70 acres. We'll have 410 bushels left. <sighs> this land is just, this game is just math. <laughs> um, you are in your year three of your 10 year rule. In the previous year, zero people starved to death. Three people entered the kingdom. The population is now 106. We harvested a thousand bushels at one bushels per acre. Rats destroyed 413 bushels, leaving 997 bushels in storage. 
The city owns 10,000 acres of land. Oh man, we really didn't do good on our harvest this time. I, for some reason, I didn't really think about the, that being a factor. I need to give all, well, we have to harvest something. How many people do we have? 106. Oh my gosh. So many people are going to starve. Okay, we could sell some. We can sell some. We're going to sell... Mm, no. Let's sell 100. 100 acres of land. We have a 10... Uh, 1,070. Let's sell 100 acres of land. And then we'll have enough to feed our whole population, hopefully. And... And we'll be able to plant like 777. Let, let's go ahead and plant and um, plant 600 acres so we can keep just a little reserve in case. There you go. In year four of your 10 year rule, in the previous year, zero people starved to death. Four people entered the kingdom. The population is now 57. We harvested 1800 bushels at three bushels per acre. Rats destroyed 483 bushels, leaving 1,494 bushels in storage. The city owns 970 acres of land. What, what happened to my population? There were 53 deaths from the plague. Oh, damn. That's too bad. Okay. You are in year six of your 10-year rule. In the previous year, zero people starved to death. Seven people entered the kingdom. Population is now 38. Damn. Harvested 4880 bushels at 8 bushels per acre. Rats destroyed 0 bushels. That's great. The city owns 1,000 acres of land. Land is currently worth 18 bushels. And there were 30 deaths from the plague. So see, this is my main issue is that the plague is killing all of my people. And then I have no one to freaking harvest the land. So I'm going to just have them harvest as much as they possibly can. And we'll keep that 3,000 because, yeah. See, I, that's what I thought. You're in year 10 of your 10 year rule. In the previous year, zero people starved to death. In the previous year, eight people entered the kingdom. The population is now 44. We harvested 2,880 bushels at eight bushels per acre. Rats destroyed 933 bushels, leaving 7,144 bushels in storage. The city owns 1,000 acres of land. Land is currently worth 18 bushels per acre. There were zero deaths from the plague. So once again, of course, I feed my people first, and then I have them um, do all of the harvesting that they can. I'm not buying anything because I haven't hit the amount of people that I need to harvest everything anyway. So there's no point in buying something you can't use. All right, feed my people, harvest as much as we can. We're at 98 now, so I think I'm gonna buy some more land. First, I'll feed my people, harvest some, and I still have 9,000 um, bushels left. So let's go ahead and buy. Let's say, let's say 45. Let's buy 45. Oh, maybe not. Maybe 100. Let's buy a hundred more acres. There you go. Now four new people entered the kingdom and we harvested 980 bushels. So it was a really slow year, but that that's okay. We have some reserves, we're good. Well, it's a really simple game. It's sweet, it's short. You can, well, you can basically keep playing as long as you like, you know, um, but it does get pretty boring at some point because you really are just doing the same thing over and over again. For like one of the first games ever, of course, it's pretty, you know, good, pretty interesting because I mean, there's not that much you could do at that time. I would say like, it would be funny if the stakes were a bit higher because I mean, I, in the span of like five turns, I was able to build myself up a little reserve and then I've had no worries since then it's just been really easy um at no point has my game field felt threatened um 
I just feed my people to make sure I have no people starving to death and then have everybody um, plant their acres. Just doing that has been enough to keep going and going and going and going. Um, but it does get kind of boring because there is no stakes when you always have a bunch of food to, or, you know, bushels to fall back on. And there is no, you know, worry for me that I'm going to lose anything because of that. So it would be nicer if they, if there was some sort of system that could like randomly, I mean, the rats are supposed to sometimes be able to destroy your bushels, but like you can rack them up so quickly without, you know, worrying too much about feeding your population because your population goes down so quickly because of the plague. And there's not much you can do about that except keep farming, keep on trucking. So yeah, it's a good game, but you know, it's, it's not very interesting. Um, I guess you could probably play around with it to try and challenge yourself like, oh, I want to have over 10,000 bushels, you know, always or whatever. You could do stuff like that. But for me personally, I mean, I see no point in that and it just bores me a little bit this game, but it's a pretty cute game. So uh, that's my opinion, my review, if you will, uh, of Hammurabi, one of the oldest games, one of the oldest video games in uh in the world bye